Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome again to another amazing episode of the Youth Have the Show that gets your groove on. I don't know where you're watching us from, by the way, but personally from my side, as you can see, me, I feel poor, I feel like I'm In fact, I'm happy, I'm very happy, and I just hope you're also happy from wherever you're watching us from. So this is the Youth Have the Show that gets your groove on, and let's get our conversations, our comments, everything, questions, and anything in between. Let's get them started. On our SMS number, two double one double four. Or a GBS TV Africa across all social media platforms. And today I, I, I today I have I have a combination. I, okay, I don't know, but I feel like I should just call them some other time. We talk about something else because I feel like ne perfect conveal to do this. So 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 I would love to introduce my guests uh, for today. They are two amazing ladies. Watch our Jiongeleles. It's taki kuongelele. I'm too aseme. Oh, uli niambia ivi. You can introduce ivi. Mm -mm. I'm going to give them a chance. What they introduce and let us know who they are. Starting with my closest side. Please introduce yourselves. And dear, what do you really know? Hello, hello. My name is Winfred Nyokabi Kangethe. I am a 24-year-old therapist. And I cannot wait to get into this <coughs> conversation with this amazing host. <laughs> Doing the most. Doing the most. <laughs> Doing the most. You can miss kids who take you things in a chase up. So don't joke. Don't joke. <laughs> yes, yeah, so our last and uh, our amazing guest of the day, Kari Bisana, introduce wow, wow, wow. yourself. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. Nyaga, counselor Jen Nyaga, counselor psychologist. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad to be in this show. I'm also glad. That I mean, the fry, kuwaona, the fry, sana. So, guys. Mkopoa. Kabisa, we Mkotea. are doing good. A hundred percent. I feel like you are just the right people when you refer to Ngelele this. And that is why you are later. Akuna reason ngine. It's on period. <laughs> so right about now before we... I know Mko Iga kujo what we are talking about today. I know. It, relax, hold your horses. Nitawambia too very soon. But right about now we are going to uh, jump into our very first segment. Top trends, and we are going to see what is happening in the streets of Nairobi. To elewe, leo unga imefika wapi? Ye, imefika wapi? Nini, nini? Hizo mambozote, to elewe. So right about now, top trends. Now, I want to talk about something that has been trending, because this is what is going to be leading us into this uh, amazing... Uh, Conversation of the day, yes. So, there's um, you all know Mandy, Mandy Graham, and uh, she has been making hits after hits. I don't know if her type of music is gangeton, I'm not really sure. I'm not sure, I'm not sure, but uh, she has been training. If you have been on the net, you definitely know who she is. And um, there was a, 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 a I wouldn't like to call the person a fan because I don't think a fan will do that. But uh, there's a comment that popped up in one of our posts that uh, was addressing her, actually. And uh, the comment came from a specific person. And I quote, uh, Lighten skin kiasi utakapua. So that was her. Those were her words from the person from the other side. And then Mandy went ahead and replied to the comment. And I quote, Hello, my beautiful mel melanin queens. Back with your weekly aggressive reminder that you are so beautiful and your skin is breathtaking. Love you. Bye. That is what uh, that is what happened. Sour, sour. So, mambo ni hayo ya leave you. Mepata, mepata info. Sindo? Uh huh. So, ah, uh, swali yangu ni, swali yangu ni. Okay. First of all, my question is to the person who was commenting this. What is your business? Oh, she daya koni gani? Je, she daya koni gani? Eh, kachini ufikiria about yourself and um, wacha kushindu ki post post zitu wazina amana kwa post dana nyewe jamini stop it it is not good looking good on you sawa so and I'm back to this side you look at it by the way so guys mmesikia uyu venya naongea and you've had the reply from the person who posted Mandy herself and I would like to ask do you think it's okay do you think it's something that has been happened do you think it's like it's something that should be happening. Do you think it's something that celebrities, other people who have just made it, people who have just come out of the lights, you know, do you think it's something that they do? Nikitwenye wa ufanya ama 
wewe ni umesivi umeseleka mbona ama imekuwa like mm, by the way mm-hmm. so i have a lot of faith in the business mm-hmm. but then that's the most part mm-hmm. so one of the things that most of the people know is about the entitlement Mm-hmm. with the mm-hmm. fund. Mm-hmm. Unajua mm-hmm. e entitlement watu wako nao ya kufile see they have a say, a say exactly. over how exactly. I should live my life, yeah. how I should look, mm-hmm. what I should dress. First, mm-hmm. mind your own business. Mind your own business on period. <laughs> period. My skin color is mine. Shugulika na yako tafadhali. And on to the second part of whether the celebrities do that. You can see the pressure from the, the society itself yeah? yeah unona that is just one person who feels entitled to be a mandi mm-hmm. even don't afa kwa ku look like kwa kwa kwa. by the way yeah. and now when you're in the limelight there's like that pressure but then again unona mandi mm-hmm. and I stand on her ground this is not going to happen mm-hmm. i like my skin mm-hmm. my melanin queens kama sisi hapa mm-hmm. you can be proud can be like proud. the world will appreciate what you exactly. look like mm-hmm. so i feel as if it's a pressure that is there mm-hmm. but then again uh, we don't have to we celebrities don't, have don't to. need to feel the pressure to do it okay yeah true mm-hmm. Jay, that is very true mm-hmm. uh, my take is that uh, It, during such a time like this many mm-hmm. things are happening exactly especially when it comes to celebrity it is good to be yourself exactly whether dark brown mm-hmm. red color depend it too, depend it too. Mm-hmm. yeah because uh, finally a person personality naonekana through your face mm-hmm. tukikuona we can tell this girl she's somebody mm-hmm. So to depend on you to that's my take. But then again I would mm-hmm. want to interject on that kidogo mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. okay naweza jipenda and of course my mom akiwa kule nyumbani see you looking beautiful mm-hmm. but when you go into the real world mm-hmm. you know the real world is telling you by mm-hmm. the way my dem uh, dark skin mm-hmm. amwezi mm-hmm. sasa tunataka rangi ya dhao you know mm-hmm. una feel ni kama oh kama ningekuwa na ako kado by the way I would have done ha, this. kuna venye mm-hmm. because we are social beings mm-hmm. and we always want to be accepted by the crowd exactly. mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. when you feel as if ah kumbe nikifanya hivi ndo nitapendwa mm-hmm. then you feel ah, and i have the mula mm-hmm. let's go for it also there was there was this at uh, a story that was going around of some guys who were going to do a podcast mm-hmm. and i don't know kama walizama by mistake kama they didn't know maybe it was going to maybe surface all over the internet mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so one of the guys they were talking about like skin skin color za madem mm-hmm. then one of the guys akasema like aliulizwa na the others would you date a dark skin girl so i don't know what dark skin is you i don't know how dark skin dark skin sijui kulingana na wewe ni, ni gani mm-hmm. ni hii yangu ni gani ingine sijui kuna tu, kuna tones different different so sijui yako ilikuwa gani exactly but aliuliza would you date a dark skin girl mm-hmm. and he was like okay first first part of the of the whole thing was like yeah he would he would okay mm-hmm. but then he went on and added though light skins are generally beautiful mm-hmm. like who can not light skin if you don't have to look at any other thing generally they are just beautiful. beautiful you know mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but for a dark skin babe to like be called like she's pretty lazima akuwe na other things mm-hmm. zimekuja nayo either maybe mm-hmm. a big booty ama maybe mm-hmm. kifua kubwa ama maybe nywele refu ama nini Fact. like lazima akwe ikwe accommodated na something else mm-hmm. but for light skin wewe kwa tu upe like you're just beautiful generally sawa. and they were blasted for that he was blasted for that mm-hmm. and like it was everywhere on the on the media like mm-hmm. why would you say that and it was it was bad but personally i felt <laughs> I can imagine because now I'm wondering mm-hmm. where is the standard of beauty what are we measuring mm-hmm. beauty with exactly. you know mm-hmm. because when you tell me at just because I'm light skin mm-hmm. oh my god you're so beautiful, you're so beautiful. and mm-hmm. then there is a dark skin child somewhere mm-hmm. just because your skin is darker than someone else's mm-hmm. you have to do something else mm-hmm. and this is what is driving our young women mm-hmm. because mainly it's exactly. women we are going to get into yeah. that I'm guessing mm-hmm. it's driving us towards wanting to be called beautiful If so we are going to go for those extra things. Of course. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh-huh. Which yeah. is a bit serious. Mm-hmm. It is. Going for the extra things, it's very serious. Mm-hmm. Things, most of these things which are coming with beauty, mm-hmm. we don't know more or where, wherever they have come from, mm-hmm. we don't understand. Some of them they have a lot of chemicals of which we don't understand about it. Mm-hmm. So I may like to look like you mm-hmm. or you may like to look like me. But comes finally it comes with a price. You get Uh, sick mm-hmm. at the end of the day yeah we are seeing so many girls getting sick cancer mm-hmm. getting other diseases skin problems mm-hmm. and i mean this is a high time at least this is a week an awakening call yeah. where we need to be ourselves let us love ourselves the way we are mm-hmm. 
We are beauty. Na Black is angalia. beauty. These people. Ukiangalia tu ni wanaongea hivi. Sasa sana the men that are, when you wanna like out to pressure. Wewe yeah. mwenyewe tu unakaa tu hivyo hivyo hivyo. Hata si hata kupenda. Sure. You not also like it. Because I don't understand why unaweza unaniekea pressure aje because mm-hmm. I'm dark. Na wewe pia wewe uko dark. We both in the same category. And that is the the problem because expectations are higher with mm-hmm. women. When it comes to men we are, we expect different things. But when it comes to the physical aspect because a woman is put to be like a flower mm-hmm. so there's like a hundred percent expectations of you to look a certain way but you know for a man we are looking at different mm-hmm. things and that is why the pressure will be more towards women mm-hmm. looking a certain way because all men are visual beings mm-hmm. they want to see a specific kind of something so that they can be attracted mm-hmm. to you you know and jena naongea kuhusu the effects that come but we are forgetting we are a quick fix generation mimi mm-hmm. nataka ah kama hiyo ina hiyo ndio ina trend yeah. me i'll go for it i don't yeah. i don't care about yeah. we are living short and sweet yeah. lives yeah. you know yeah. itakuja <laughs> mbele yeah. i don't care about it all i want is the acceptance now mm-hmm. and that is the problem yeah. okay I, I, well, it's sad very it's sad yeah. mm-hmm. it is sad yeah. it is sad it is jokes it's sad jill mm-hmm. could have Have you ever met maybe um a young person maybe when you maybe a shape you just because I understand you do counseling right yeah a shape good yeah akwambia you know what I'm going through this and this and this and maybe it was related to all of this and what maybe were your mm-hmm. answers to the person uh, well I've seen so many clients who have come with mm-hmm. the same and actually the, there are so many things which are bringing a lot of confusion with girls eh mm-hmm. A girl comes and because she just look dark and just like a man mm-hmm. she want to behave like a man because mm-hmm. others are telling her you look like a man mm-hmm. and you look at it and you are like no mm-hmm. you are a girl you ask them one question mm-hmm. when you are coming from your home mm-hmm. your mom alikwambiaje mm-hmm. anasema i they say i'm a girl but whenever i go to the society they say i look they like a man, a man. Mm-hmm. now you find the same girl mm-hmm. looking for any kind of easy mafuta zote Mm-hmm. yeah like to look that. just like a girl mm-hmm. it's very pathetic so i think there's so much we need to address mm-hmm. as a community so that even if a child is coming from home mm-hmm. let them understand i look beautiful mm-hmm. even if i'm dark i look beautiful yeah so guys be your own kind of beautiful yeah. Yeah. So guys uh to show up at here tip of the iceberg of what we are going to be discussing and yes it's going to be an interesting topic an educative one an entertaining one pia tuko hapa kwa brudisha tumekuja kwa brudisha sawa so we're going to go for a very short break and we'll be right back to discuss more about this <music> Yes, welcome back guys. If you're just joining, karibu sana. Those you who are wapi bado, you were supposed to be seated like 20 minutes ago. Au but anyway, karibu tunawapenda. Either way, we are talking about beauty. We are talking about beauty, right? And beauty and standards and everything that is related to beauty, right? So this is uh the impact of um body enhancement on celebrities sana sana on even people who are trying to make it like how how do you think you're supposed to look how do you think you're supposed to appear in front of maybe your fan base and everything how do you think you're supposed to appear when you're doing what you're doing be it acting be it dancing singing anything that you're doing in front of those cameras how should you appear and also does it matter how you appear in front of your fans and how what and that is why we are here with amazing Jane and uh, Winfred so karibu ni tena guys Thank you. Yeah, so to go up about to endelea kutambua hii discussion yetu, ndio? So guys, I would love to ask a question. How do you think our societal beauty standards affect individual self-esteem and body image? So hapa sasa tumeendelea self-esteem and body image. We want to understand what it is. Mhm. Your your with that, how does it relate with all that? So maybe we can start with you Jane. Mhm. You know about the society when it comes to 
in relation with beauty. Mm -hmm. uh, so many people expect a lot from a person mm -hmm. because probably I'm a lawyer. This is the way they want to see me as a lawyer. As a lawyer, exactly. Mm -hmm. If I am a, a musician, mm -hmm. this is the way they want Never to see me as a musician. Eh? Mm -hmm. So the, the, every person uh, should validate who you are. By loving yourself the way you are, the image you have, let every person know you, you are yourself, and you love yourself the way you, yeah, are. you are. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I believe if the society can embrace beauty mm -hmm. in any area, because most of us, we have been born with some sh shortcomings. Mm -hmm. We have to accept it. Yeah? If today I don't have one arm, mm -hmm. let me say I have another one. At least I'm able to write. Right, yeah. That will be able to, to make me look even more beautiful. Mm -hmm. We have seen so many people who have some, some kind of disability, mm -hmm. and they do things, and you're like, wow, wow. you look beautiful. Mm -hmm. yeah. He doesn't have a leg, but he can but, stand, yeah. and oh, wow, mm -hmm. everybody is like, what? Yeah, exactly. Every, the beauty complements the person the way he is. Mm -hmm. So... For the society, it is uh, my prayer that they may accept every person the way he or she is. Yeah, yeah. And the beauty, we should not talk about the facial beauty mm -hmm. we have. The and that is the beauty. problem. And that is the problem because <laughs> that is where we go wrong. We yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, very mm -hmm. true, mm -hmm. very true. Okay, in line with what Jane said about the physical beauty, I'm going to give this short story. Mm -hmm. So especially because we are talking about esteem mm -hmm. and societal expectations mm -hmm. of beauty, like when I was in primary school. Mm -hmm. See, like, unajua venya madem na kwanga na ka click ka, oh, the most beautiful, yeah, rah, exactly. rah, rah, all yeah. that stuff, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So there was this time, mm -hmm. okay, there was this time this chick, akakuja kanyambia, we ni lakini, if your upper lip was on your bottom, mm -hmm. and then your bottom lip ukoju, mm -hmm. you'd be beautiful. Unasikia kile mtu wamekwambia, so that person has told you basically how your face looks right now, aifiki. Mm -hmm. I think it will have looked if, if it would have and I remembered going at night um at home that night and I looked at myself in the mirror and of course I was just a child. Mm -hmm. Nika kumbuka I wanted to cut the lip. Mm -hmm. So in my head I was like if I reduce the upper lip mm -hmm. Somehow, it's going to fit into the standard of society, you know. Mm -hmm. So I lived with a lot of low self-esteem, especially mm -hmm. at that particular period. Before, so some among one, you lose what is the problem because mm -hmm. we are close. Mm -hmm. And then I discussed it, and then she was like, mm -hmm. that which you think is not beautiful, mm -hmm. there is a time you look amazing. Because mm -hmm. right now, yeah. my lips and my mouth, yeah. they're my, like, mm -hmm. they're my <laughs> highlight. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like those expectations, mm -hmm. and especially when they are fed to you. imagine mimi nilambo na mtumoji, but I had a support system. By the way, yeah. you're mm. beautiful woman. Mm. So when I imagine some shana me ishi kuambiwa hivo, oh you don't look good. Mm. Now to multiple and, and there's a course, exactly. Yeah, the Akuna, the other, yeah, there's no another person telling you by the way you look good. Mm -hmm. Of course, the self-esteem is going to go low, and that is where mm -hmm. you're meeting what were like younger people, they're very depressed. Especially now with TikTok, mm -hmm. you know, geza an additional pressure, mm -hmm. Instagram, Facebook. Sure. So you're like comparing yourself mm -hmm. by this in a he body type. Mm -hmm. Sikai heavy, sikai heavy, I don't look good. Mm. It's a mess. Yeah. Can you speak? Let's let's use the media and social media, especially for the right purposes. Mm. Yeah. Let's not just use media. Is equal to kill us. We're scared to media. We're scared to distraction. We're scared to distraction. We're scared to media. 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 we Winnie amongea something about kwe, alikuwa taka kujichinja. Kujifanya <laughs> <laughs> operation. Alikuwa taka kujifanya operation yeah. kwa upper lip. And then I have remember there was a case of this young lady. I don't know if she was from Brazil. I'm not sure guys. Msini crucify. I'm not sure if it was from Brazil. But she passed actually. Because of undergoing multiple surgeries. Wow. Surgeries. Are, like ni body enhancement surgeries. Mm -hmm. Tusiata ni atiniza the maybe health conditions or something like that like mm. body enhancement surgeries mm -hmm. and unfortunately the body maybe could not take any more of that and she passed by the way so let's also be careful you need from the surgery sides and everything now we were still talking about bodies like beauty standards and everything kuna mm. tribe like well, let's say for example in um in asian countries standards the beauty kwao ni ukwe very slim be very very slim mm. right but so mm. kenya 
It's actually the other way around. But but in this case, at work, he said, "Marty, now I'm change." Come to our side. Come, come, come. Petite <laughs> 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 I don't know if they are lower lip, they like cut kuna dish wana ikanga, a very big dish. So one of them say what to like maskia in a So they do that to their lower lip. So it a hang. And then they put a very huge like plate, like a very wide one. Mdo me say like in lip ya chini nika imebeba like this whole thing and they say the standard of beauty kwauni the bigger that is mm-hmm. the more beautiful you are wow. that is that that aside you see by that is their culture and everything mm-hmm. but again kuko irrelevant kidogo i was asking myself who mtu akitoka kwa hiyo community akuje tu community yenye tuko size mm-hmm. who is going to accept that person mm-hmm. you need by the way to listen i'm not crucifying any yeah, person but yeah. to, let's be logic too Mm-hmm. Start accept you wapi. Me, yeah. I don't, I don't, I can't imagine walking with someone when you're gonna bully me like you could cheat. No, but I'm not happening. It's not happening. It's not happening. That was a bad way. So, guys, strong about self esteem and body image, guys. Mm-hmm. Let's protect our esteem. Not everyone has your support system. So, if you don't have it, kindly learn to be your own self, learn to be your own. Your kitum meseme. <laughs> self motivator <laughs> <I'm motivated. laughs> positive self talk wait what be there for yourself mm. be there for yourself mm. don't let people crush you because let me tell you kwanza in this generation that we are in yeah. it's messed up it's really messed up so uh <clears throat> what role does media uh and uh, advertising play in shaping perceptions of body beauty mm. i feel like it has a very huge role because these are the same same these are the same same places where we see something and we want to be like that thing that we are seeing. Yeah. And this is one of the bad bad uses of media that to me to kuwa, right? Mm-hmm. From there, I don't know. Your side would you think maybe? Yeah, mm-hmm. I think media plays a really huge role because if you look at people who even advertise for us beauty products, my dear, mm-hmm. if you look at the percentage of black women who do that, not black like the skins because mm-hmm. we're all black. Mm-hmm. The the statistics of the women who are like adi wokiwa mtoto mdogo you see wale watu wenye wanatu advertise they look a specific kind of way exactly. ukiona mwenye watu advertise mafuta ngozi yake venye inaka you like this is the perfect person but in real sense the amount of kenyans some of the amount of women when you wanafanana na huyo mtu they are very little ni wale watu tu wana relate na huyo mtu ni wale wadogo mm-hmm. so sisi wengine wenye how to relate well, na skin exactly. kama hiyo mm-hmm. we feel left out mm-hmm. we feel like i need to be like abcd person ndio nionekane kwa tv mahali mm-hmm. we need to change that we really need to change that mm-hmm. it is very true mm-hmm. the, the media is really supporting a picture of beauty mm-hmm. actually they are taking that to another extreme and i feel every child every mm-hmm. person mm-hmm. they need to accommodate the colors we have okay. yeah we mm-hmm. can do unga you can take a black lady unga mm-hmm. you can take another one a brown girl mm-hmm. for all these beauty product mm-hmm. you can match they can match at least to bring sanity mm-hmm. to this whole issue of beauty mm-hmm. because we usually talk about beauty being in the eyes of the beholder, the beholder exactly. so every person I'm feels like you what any beholder imagine hey. yeah so we, the media they need to match all these people mm-hmm. so that they can fit in mm-hmm. which will be very good mm-hmm. as children glow wa- once in a while you can hear them even talking in the street mm-hmm. you don't look like that guy who is always on the telly ukiangalia mm-hmm. exactly. unapata the guys lighter mm. yeah you like yeah 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 there's someone who was saying that um whatever we see in the media i'm actually to know online mm. is that edited version of someone mm. yeah. that is not their real life and that's why people de- mm. people never post their failures people never post their bad sides people never post the ugly side mm. you know mm. so whatever it is that you see there trust you me you need to me for your kazi for it to be there because it's it's something that uh, it's the best version of what someone wants to show mm. so to see when it's good it's by, by what we see in the media you have so many people when you're yeah, victims to that and it's sad it's really sad so um how does the beauty industry contribute uh, to unrealistic beauty standards mm. i feel like they do that in a very huge way mm. 
Mm-hmm. But I feel as if like right now people are becoming more conscious. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give an example. I don't know if it's good to mention name, mm-hmm. but there's a brand of lipstick mm-hmm. in Imetokea. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's new in the market, mm-hmm. and I see this woman integrating women of all skin types. And I appreciate okay. her for that. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. when you see that, uh, for example, a beauty product is on a specific type of people, mm-hmm. of course, if you do not fit into that category, you feel like, Mm-mm, this is not meant for this me. This is not meant for me. I thought I was scared because, okay, my skin doesn't look like that. Mm-hmm. It's skincare product, you know. You exactly. know. So I, I just appreciate that woman mm-hmm. for what she's doing. Because I can see all different tones mm-hmm. of skin. Zikwa represented in her brand, which mm-hmm. is a good thing. Kudos, Mama. Mm-hmm. Yeah, amazing work there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think uh, the way really is talking about, mm-hmm. I just compliment her by saying it's okay mm-hmm. for at least to have such brand where every person every, everyone feels accommodated. Is accom- accommodated. Okay. Yeah, and I, I, I believe uh, to do with self-esteem with women. Mm-hmm. Niki to kidogo to ina letanga hiyo. Exactly. But ukiwaonyesha they are there, they are doing Nivo. well. Imagine the evil. Nivo. Yeah. Nivo. Ah, every woman Nivo. is like, yeah. Okay. But it's because, I feel like, yeah, it's true because people are not appreciating them. Imagine if you just mm. appreciate someone, like, the way they look. I don't, uh, imagine they will not have a problem. But I'm sound. Like, yeah, that's all we need to hear. We just need you to hear. We need to hear you appreciate us. Mm. You know, appreciate people. Mm. And that's it. So, yeah. Anyway. This happens only to ladies, you know. Uh, skin color issues before we get to other enhancements, so yeah. But men too, they do this. So reasons that women maybe to go for maybe color, color changing or anything. Do you feel like it's the same same reasons that men do the same? Not we had a, we had a, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure kama ni ukweli mimi ni na ni rumors niliona eh mimi ni rumors niliona there's a time to li, there was this scandal ya calligraph enye ilikuwa talked about that he went for skin bleaching mm-hmm. it was not proved it it was ukweli but people said that he did that right so you can make a kwa ile point ya men too they can do this men mm-hmm. to do this mm-hmm. so do you think they do it for the same reasons that women do i don't think so mm-hmm. I don't think so because when we compare the male gender and the female gender, mm-hmm. no one is pressuring men to look brown. In fact, when you look at women who prefer light skinned men, see Wengi, there is a stereotype that comes with being light skinned mm-hmm. as a guy. Mm-hmm. As a so guy. I don't think it's the same <laughs> reason. <laughs> <laughs> Machali, light skinned, by the way, we have nothing against you. Nothing but against I'm just you. saying, yeah. I don't think the reasons are the same because for us it's accepting acceptance from society. Mm-hmm. But for men, for men, I'm not sure because of course I'm, I cannot talk from a male point of view. Mm-hmm. But I don't think it's the same reasons. Don't think it's the same reasons. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm, but still, I, I don't think it is for the same reason mm-hmm. as women because most of the men, I, I find okay if they are, mm-hmm. there are very few who mm-hmm. are doing these things of bleaching and trying to be like women. Mm-hmm. So for men, I that one I, I may not talk. Reasons not the same. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we have um, Tumonga about skin color and everything and everything. So we as a celebrity, as a person who is now going into the limelight, obviously, kuna izi pictures that no nanga za before, uh, before uh, he he or she got into fame and after. They are not the same. Let's agree on this. As the picture the same. In fact, they are very two different things. <laughs> Two di- from two different people as yeah. be the same at all, right? So we want to, is it changes is it not happening? We want to understand these changes is not talking about it. One, okay, we understand Pia um camera quality P neza changia, but we you aside. Let's talk about the individual who is in, in that picture, Kwanza. Right? So we have uh Tunonga aspect their skin color. Mm-hmm. Most of them they do it. Yeah. Most of them do it. I don't want to give examples, but they do. Mm-hmm. They do. We're not saying it's a bad thing, but we're just saying they do. You do it. Now let's go to other body enhancements. You people who have gone as far as going for surgeries to increase certain body parts mm-hmm. of theirs, right? Mm. And so why do you think it was necessary for them to now do it? Now they've made it. Okay, to know they do have money, they have the yeah. capability mm-hmm. to do that, right? Mm-hmm. But we have people when yeah, they are rich, they have the money, but bad mm-hmm. agenda mm-hmm. But why is it that when fame is mentioned? Mm-hmm. Fame, fame is you na julikana sasa. Why is it that this uncle who has spotlight is now that you want to go and do that? 
Good question. Mm -hmm. So there is something in psychology we call an external locus of evaluation. Mm -hmm. And that is when my worth is determined by external sources. Mm -hmm. So for example, when I'm um, a celebrity, my worth comes from people appreciating me, comments, they are beautiful, oh, mm -hmm. you're sexy, yada, 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 all those stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when, of course, your validation, ama, your external locus of evaluation comes from the external world, mm -hmm. then you would need to please that world so that you can accept yourself. You know, yeah. because you talked about people who have money and would not do it, and mm -hmm. people who actually get money and decide to do it. They are two, di they are two different people, mm -hmm. of course. Mm -hmm. Kuna ule mtu mwenye niko sawa. I have accepted myself. Mm -hmm. This is who I am. Mm -hmm. I love, love myself the way I am. And then there's another person who feels, mm -hmm. okay, I need something else so that I can feel I'm 100% good mm -hmm. with myself. Mm -hmm. Okay, I did work at a plastic surgery company. Mm -hmm. It was, it was US-based. Mm -hmm. And they were showing us pictures of after and before. And to be honest, those women looked good. Mm -hmm. ah, I won't even lie. Mm -hmm. Because, of course, we've been socialized mm -hmm. of what good looks like, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So, at a way, una feel ni kama, but then get one mm -hmm. you like I would have you like debating. It's not as bad as you like debating. Okay, mm -hmm. like I don't can I do mm -hmm. something like mm -hmm. this? And I feel as if because of course society comes to play. Mm -hmm. Because black. Black women don't want to You would not find a white woman a kienda ku enhance, especially the backside and things like that. Because mm -hmm. culture yao. In more socialism, a specific type of which is actually thin, mm -hmm. thin legs, nini, nini, wondo anakapua. But you know, on the black side, nini, mm -hmm. the, the expectations are different. So I feel ni kama, like to answer your question, which I've answered in so many words, yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, my viewers, I talk a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> it's more about the external locus of evaluation. It's because you want other people to validate your worth. Mm -hmm. And that comes with looking a specific way that they want you to look. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, money comes with so many things, sure. mm -hmm. and uh, when people usually get money, there is something else they would like to look like a famous person. Mm -hmm. Because I've, I know so and so he looks like this, I would like to look like him or her. Mm -hmm. So there is that aspect of competition, mm -hmm. and even you want to fit in in this okay. people, eh? you are calling them celebrity. Mm -hmm. So. Some of them mm. are very dark. Nowadays, mm. So it comes with all these things. Mm -hmm. that's exactly what comes with money. Mm -hmm. Plus, still, others, they, they go for all these kind of things. The surgeries, just to validate. What we in addition, by yeah. the way, we are, we are forgetting the aspect of men. Mm -hmm. Because men also play a big role. Unapata, mm -hmm. there's this lifestyle that young women want to live, mm -hmm. a lifestyle that is soft life. Mm -hmm. okay. And soft life is sponsored. Okay, there are people who give themselves soft life, but there's an aspect of soft life is given by a specific person. Now, yeah. mm -hmm. you have to look at specific you ways. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. If you look at social lights, people we are looking at right now, mtu amepelekwa mansion in a kaji kilima, uki muangalia mwili yake haivanani na yako. You know? Mm -hmm. So you see, it's you feel as if it's that body that has bought her this lifestyle. Well, I have to get So to that have uki, uki, mm -hmm. uki shika tu kafe mkidogo kapesa kidogo, mm -hmm. you also want to look like that person mm -hmm. because after all, your body yake ndo imempeleka penyako and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So there are very many factors that, that are at play here. Okay, so what about um, E aspect? Yeah, we, okay, we have people who actually come out now, they actually say boldly that, you know what, I went through the knife and I did this and this mm -hmm. and this to my body. Mm -hmm. But Sakuna, how when they actually deny it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. They deny. Yeah. After rumors, they may spread um, uh, either rumors or not rumors, either you can have evidence or not, but they will actually deny it. Mm -hmm. But we are not blind. <laughs> <laughs> we are not blind. Mm. We've been following you for years. Yeah, we, know you. we know you. We know you for some time. Yeah. We are not blind. Yeah. Mm. So, um, yeah. What about that? What makes someone want, I want to go ahead. I want to do this mm -hmm. because I feel like it's going to help me in this specific way. Maybe mm -hmm. your mansion, I'm to come here. But again, I don't want it to, like, I, okay, for you not to actually, for you to deny it means you're not proud of it. Mm. So, yeah. what, what makes that happen? Like, Yes, I'm going to do it, but hey, I'm going to stack you to do it. Mm. Is it like, do you already yourself acknowledge it's not the right thing to do, but I'll still do it? Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's still society. Mm -hmm. There are people who 
like dunia mm-hmm. ina play a very big role over what needs to be done and what needs not to be done mm-hmm. so unapata because of course there are people who are going to acknowledge people who have done that lakini kutakuwa na rende nyingine nyitabash so you also afraid of that other community that just say by the way you didn't need to do this so of course the acknowledge is not good mm-hmm. for them as a person like individually you feel know. by the way it's tough people mm-hmm. i think that is why they consider it my two cents on it though mm-hmm. it's not professional opinion <laughs> that one <laughs> it's some, so happy. some of these people they, they may be fearing the repercussion of whatever you did mm-hmm. you see inaweza you know, kuku affect in a way what we say men and ile kitu ile kulifanya ile ile kitu alifanya ndio hii imemfanya aende ndio inamkula so kazi. that fear may make you conceal what you have done yeah. Yeah. Do and you say no nikukula nimekula nimekula <laughs> going very well ulikato somewhere naenda kukula okay yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay so we have a uh, we need to talk about there are these two groups right mm-hmm. yes kuna hizi group mbili remember people are people, watu ni watu tu and they will never stop being people mm-hmm. right kuna these people when you they will actually bash you for not having maybe a big behind mm. you know for not being light skin they will actually bash you wewe mm-hmm. unakaa je nini nini and they are also the same same people when you ukienda for surgery they will start saying oh mm. she's fake she's 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 fake it's, yeah. not, it's not natural it's yeah. munatakanga aje what do you want us to do <laughs> good question i think what what she kangi or i think it's because people feel like i mentioned earlier the entitlement like you feel you need to say something about somebody else's skin that and body shouldn't. that you shouldn't mm-hmm. honestly it's yeah. not if you don't feel mm-hmm. i did something right mm-hmm. keep it to yourself i miss id comment yako it's not mm-hmm. helping me in any way just keep it to yourself please mm-hmm. and then you na change one time oh sikai vizuri now it's a problem what do you want me to do exactly. unatakanga watu wafanye yeah. nini to be honest <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. so it's evil to be happen mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. it is good what what to shake mm-hmm. with you what yeah. to shake yeah and if you do your things mm-hmm. what to see jue you know your people are using social media <laughs> yeah, in a great way ile mm-hmm. every day people are following you wana ku follow wana ku follow mm-hmm. why are you doing all these things mwisho zinatualibia kwa sababu mm-hmm. when they'll start talking negative things about they you will talk. they eh, have to and, and talk. it will be it will just bring a problem to you because mm-hmm. they can't don't stop talking to you oh, yeah, yeah. wataongea and you'll get yourself into depression mm. utajipata wewe umegonjeka watu unashinda unaenda wa the day it's you it's just you it's you, it's mm. you. It's you mm. yeah mm. it's very sad but by the way at the end of the day how what when you una, you are like following their their advices their words unasikiza vizuri wanasema they will not be with you kikikuramba yeah they will not yeah. be there yeah. So guys uh we have uh, finished up uh, the second segment of our discussion we are going to go for a short break and um party some breather and stuff but remember to keep the conversations coming on our sms number 2114 or at GBS TV Africa across all social media platforms we'll be right back <music> guys karibuni sana we are uh, on our last segment of the discussion and yes i have amazing people who have information that you would love to hear so we we can to pay attention and be a good person yes so guys you are you have done you have dealt with psychology psychology mm-hmm. you want to talk about the psychological part of all this no mm-hmm. so uh, what do you think are the some of the psych- psychological effects of striving for an idealized body image mm-hmm. body <laughs> mm-hmm. so the psychological impact of that mm-hmm. one it could lead to depression because maybe you don't get what you wanted exactly. you know you can actually unajua mm-hmm. especially for people who don't have enough resources and even for people who have enough mm-hmm. resources yeah mm-hmm. you might want something but can you unapata totally different there's also the anxiety you can get anxiety from it mm-hmm. because there are people who there is general anxiety uh, disorder and this is when you're so worried about everything 
Like kuna katu kishtuka okay nikienda nifanywe ikose ku yeah, what will happen, what will happen? Exactly. tena unashindwa nikika hivi watu so, kama mandi now yeah, that yeah, what yeah. will happen what, you know yeah. all that anxiety plays into you now losing sleep mm-hmm. getting overly stressed mm-hmm. being too sad being emotional for things that can be avoided mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. at the end of the day this beauty standard it doesn't need to cost you your mental health your sure. mental health is so important sure. it needs to be protected at all costs mm-hmm. yeah Mm, that is very true. Mm-hmm. Your mental health, health mm-hmm. becomes number one, and it is very important for a person to mm. to look at yourself and tell yourself that uh, I have to live a positive life, mm-hmm. because one of these effects, many people they have a very so low self esteem. Mm-hmm. Another thing, they have poor self image. Mm-hmm. When a person has poor self image, mm-hmm. you can imagine that one will lead to another thing. Yeah. One attack from the other. Mm-hmm. And uh, finally, you will find the same, same person eating too much. Eating. Mm-hmm. Eating too, too much. Okay. Now you get now, you have another condition mm-hmm. out of all these things that you have brought to yourself. So it is very important for your mentor should always become number one. Mm-hmm. And every time you think about it and what the other people are talking about you, mm-hmm. you should take life in a very positive way okay. to guard your mind. So yes. uh, mental stability, number one. Yes. Psychological stability, number one. Very, very important. So uh, what about cultural differences? Um, how do you think uh, they have influenced perception of body beauty? I feel like they've done, actually they've done the most. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that we are in right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <coughs> because as we mentioned earlier, the culture really impacts who, how we see ourselves, yeah? Mm-hmm. Like, for example, even the the ethnic communities, because of Kwatuna races, mm-hmm. like, for example, the Kikuyu, Kamba, and Jalo, mm-hmm. there is, like, Kikuyu, mm-hmm. there is a body type, mm-hmm. yenye tumekewa. Mm-hmm. And then for the Luo girls, there is a body type, mm-hmm. you know? So that culture, of course, now, of course, I am a Kikuyu personally, mm-hmm. and you find that people who have a certain, I'm going talking, I'm talking about the body itself, mm-hmm. people who have a certain mm-hmm. body type mm-hmm. wana feel ni kama okay labda ningekuwa mjaluo ningekaa vizuri you know it's yeah. these things that we are fed and it's constantly fed and people make jokes about it mm-hmm. but the things that people make jokes about it sometimes it works in cementing that information in us especially as a little girl mm-hmm. because tunasemanga their formative years and when you constantly hear oh kuna body type yenye na it's amazing mm-hmm. and there's one that is just weird and mm-hmm. stuff like that it gets into your psyche and when it gets into your site, it sticks with you. And that is when now other mental health conditions come. Because Jenna Mesema about talking, uh, eating too much, there's also eating too little. Because okay. of course, there are two, there's bulimia and there's anorexia. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, bulimia is the eating too much, anorexia is eating too little. So Nikiona Nikama, okay, I need to look a specific type of way. Then Naiza Jinema Chakula. Because maybe I think, okay, Tumbangu Itaisha, mm-hmm. a, body, a, a body type will form. Mm-hmm. You know, all these other mental health conditions that come mm-hmm. are a result of the cultural impact that mm-hmm. it has on us and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Culture plays a great part because they have shaped us the way we is talking about. Mm-hmm. And it's very hard. Actually, when you stand somewhere, they look at you behind, they can say, oh, I thought you are from this tribe. <laughs> <Because> yeah. <laughs> it's already judge predetermined. You. They yeah. judge you by the looks. So I think it's a high time. Mm-hmm. Uh, all cultures, all people from all sides of this country, mm-hmm. they may come and embrace how they are. Yeah, and mm-hmm. tell their children, the, everybody who is in that community, you look good. Mm-hmm. Many people are coming for counseling because of the way they, their image is. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of body shaming because somebody said you look just like a okay. panga. You, you can imagine panga <laughs> 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 The girl come crying. Yeah? Actually, I was taking panga is a dream. <laughs> 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 it's very serious. So, <laughs> So it, is, <laughs> it is a high time <laughs> that people should get educated mm-hmm. in their ethnicity groups and understand that we are the way we are mm-hmm. because we were created just like that. Just like that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So uh, you have talked about society, so now we have talked about um, culture, you know, and uh, the community here. But we've not talked about our parents and upbringing. So how guys, do you think upbringing plays any role, I'm a maybe parenting, do you think it plays any role in the decisions that, that one takes to, 
you say, you know what, when, when I reach this age, I'm going to get this kind of money, I'm going to make it in life, I'm going to go for plastic surgery, I'm going to bleach my skin, and I'm going to my dress. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> you're looking at me. Parents. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Let's uh, hear from the parents' point of view. Uh, <laughs> parenting, it has a major role mm-hmm. when it comes to the way girls and boys are. Yeah? The image we portray mm-hmm. from, a, from a child when he or she is young. Mm-hmm. The same thing may affect him or her. So, I realize that the daughter has very big eyes. Eh? Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, she came and told me, my daughter has big eyes. What should I do? I told her, you have to go back to her and tell her she is the most beautiful girl. <laughs> her eyes look so beautiful mm-hmm. and unique. Mm-hmm. Wow, that girl is an A student. Anafanya from four this year. Mm-hmm. She's an A student because she accepted herself the way she has with her big eyes mm-hmm. and she feels she's okay. Mm-hmm. So parenting means a lot. We need to encourage and talk to our young children mm-hmm. as they grow. When we look at them, I personally I have a son mm-hmm. and he's a bit dark and just look like somebody from Western. Mm-hmm. We had to prepare him psychologically. We told him, when you go to school, mm-hmm. how do guys call you in school? He, he, he usually tells me, imagine they see that I look like I come from Western. <laughs> so <laughs> at least he had it from home and he's okay with that. Mm-hmm. So parenting means a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when the child is young, mm-hmm. let us try prepare to put, them. prepare them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we put a positive thing at our Naishi, Western mm-hmm. City, ours. Yes, All of us, we are one community. Yeah. 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 So uh, what if I'm a, okay, like I do understand parents do play a, a, a role, right, in doing that. They raise their kids, right? right? Mm-hmm. They, mm-hmm. A big percentage of them do. But what happens when you've really done your part as a parent to the under 18 child? Then if you keep a highly and they now do the totally opposite. They now you will you, you advise them, you told them how good they look mm-hmm. and everything, but then you una quite surprised after maybe they reach legal age where you can't stop them anywhere. Uh well that one is a very good thought about it because mm-hmm. it is happening. Mm-hmm. And uh, mostly we are seeing that parents need to engage with their children as mm-hmm. much as possible. To do it when they are growing is mm-hmm. there anything how are you feeling yeah every time in our home we try to make something we call morning rounds mm-hmm. and evening we share how the day has been mm-hmm. that one will help a parent to understand mtoto ameshidaje alafu by the evening utajua mtoto wako na shida mm-hmm. and in any case we have such a case we mm-hmm. usually advocate for counseling it is very nice mm-hmm. if you see mtoto amebadilika all of a sudden mm-hmm. and uh, na uone anahitaji kuongeleshwa na mtu mwingine mm-hmm. a counselor will always be a call away okay yeah and this will help the child mm-hmm. kujipik from wherever amekuwa confused mm-hmm. aendele na maisha okay yes ulipikiwa ukiwa confused <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i did mm-hmm. but I want to directly answer that question about now already the child has already done the, mm-hmm. the adult because mm-hmm. now we are talking about an 18 year old yeah mm-hmm. parents should not blame themselves especially if you know if you, you did, did a yeah. good job yeah. do not blame yourself by the way because right now I'm a 24 year old if mm-hmm. I decided to go bleach my skin mm-hmm. there's literally nothing my sure. mom can say because mm-hmm. ataki kasirika mm-hmm. atapata atakasirika nikiwa already niko na I'm mm-hmm. already like light skin so even parents, by the way, just ensure your job, especially formative years, and formative years is basically one to five, mm-hmm. and now moving forward until the adolescent, ensure you're doing a good job talking to your kids, ensuring they feel loved, mm-hmm. they feel they are okay, they are good, they are beautiful, and every, they are empowered. Mm-hmm. So even when she she or he gets at an age of 18 and above, and mm-hmm. they decide to do, to live their lives, because at the end of the day, we are all individuals. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can raise me in church, and I decide I don't want church anymore, and, and there's nothing exactly. you can do. So yeah. as a parent, don't feel guilty if you did your job, mm-hmm. but then again, talk to your child. Talk to your 18-year-old, 20-year-old, mm-hmm. and ask them, what are you trying to achieve? Because at the end of the day, it's goli yako ni gane, by mm-hmm. the way. At the oh. end of the day, ni nini unataka. Mm-hmm. And then once you have that conversation, you're good to go. You're good to go. Yeah. So, parents, that's your take. Mm-hmm. na Yeah, so, um, as we almost wrap up, so how, how, do, how do body beauty standards uh, intersect with gender, race, and other identity factors? We're not talking about what we're talking about, identity crisis, uku inje. Manashanga ni kuhuku ama ni kuhuku. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think by the time you're talking about beauty standard mm-hmm. intersecting with gender and race, most of that we've talked about because especially mm-hmm. for women, mm-hmm. because gender comes with women, mm-hmm. there are expectations of beauty that are for men and women. Mm-hmm. Things like that. Mm-hmm. And for women, we want a specific thing. And of course, the race is black and white. Mm-hmm. For the white people, we have a different standard that we want. And for the black people, there's a, a specific standard. So of course, all these things play mm-hmm. to to define beauty. Unajua. Mimi ni kumrembo kuthi is a chick, uh, she's an influencer, mwenye likuwa na ishi UK, and then she came to Kenya. She mm-hmm. says it's totally different. Huko hakuwa I feel like she's pretty enough. Because of mm-hmm. course, mm-hmm. the beauty of standard in UK mm-hmm. is not the same as the beauty of standard here yeah, in Kenya. Yeah, exactly. So Alipata, like the, there was like the identity, or rather she just felt home. Mm-hmm. Huku, because now the body that is wanted and the skin that is wanted, iko huku. Mm-hmm. But kwenye alikuwa, mm-hmm. she was she was nothing i mean she was not relevant at that mm-hmm. point so i think those things play to ensure that beauty standards are just different everywhere mm-hmm. but at the end of the day it's you what you feel about yourself mm-hmm. and how you look at yourself in the mirror do you look at yourself and tell yourself you're beautiful mm-hmm. that is what you need to be doing baby girl mm-hmm. and baby boy mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> relax hold your horses <laughs> okay uh-huh. jane uh, uh, maybe mm-hmm. that very true. Mm-hmm. Mm, they need people need to affirm themselves the way they are. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Every time you look yourself at a mirror, you tell yourself, "I look beautiful." I look pretty. Mm-hmm. Nobody's like me. Yeah. And for those who are Christian, you tell yourself you're fear free and, and wonderfully, wonderfully made, made. Mm-hmm. and that one will make you move a hundred miles, mm-hmm. feeling you look good. Yeah. All we need, even as uh, women, let us learn to embrace each other. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which, however you are, ukiona ni koivi, mm-hmm. tell me lo- I look nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Like say, you have these people when I say, manga, if you are a good friend, you can be a wongo. Yeah. We need those. We need those who can tell you mm-hmm. the reality. Kama uko mzuri, mm-hmm. anasema you look good. Na kama uko mzuri kwa macho yake sasa. Yeah. Na kama uko mzuri, ana kukorect tu. We love, we love. Iyo iko sawa. There are people who can tell you. Lakini. Eh, leo, hapa, ebu tubadilisha kidogo. And you accept it. Because mwenye nakwambia hivyo, if at all amekuwa kikwambia you are okay, you look good. Mm-hmm. By the time anakwambia hivyo, mm-hmm. unajua ni ukweli. Ziu already unajua hivyo. Yeah. It's true, anakwambia anga. Anakwambia anga ukweli. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, so uh, we've talked a lot about... Um, body enhancement but we talked about the people who actually behind this body shaming processes and everything right so as a um, person who maybe umepitia body shaming ama maybe some of vituka hizo right za kuambiwa au kai vizuri but you look huyu aliambiwa wakati ya mdomo yake sijui exchange mdomo yake iende juu ingine iende chini right i feel like that, you know, that's a kind of body shaming by the way because yeah. Why would you tell someone that? Mm-hmm. You know, Very true. so that is body shaming at its at its point. So, how did she overcome it? She had a backbone. She had someone who told her, "You know what? You are beautiful, regardless of all that." Right. Mm-hmm. So, what about how uh, when you have your backbone and everything? What maybe some of the ways that they can actually handle body shaming that is coming to them left, right, and center? Just body shaming, body shaming. Remember, we are human and we want to feel good. We want to feel loved. Mm-hmm. But again, we still need to accept ourselves the way we are. So how can we handle e story body shaming ya kuambia we how kai vizuri we unakaji? When it, it comes to such, eh, mm-hmm. it is good to educate ourselves. Mm-hmm. To we tell ourselves your worth is high. It is you alone who will be able to raise yourself higher and higher. Mm-hmm. If you wait for others others to come in in your life, mm-hmm you will wait and you may die alone. Mm-hmm. So wewe mwenyewe, chukua jukumu, mm-hmm. tell yourself, mm-hmm. I, am, I look good yeah, I look good. and I'm going far. Mm-hmm. That, Naenda mbali. That one, mm-hmm. ita kusaidia kusonga mm-hmm. na kusonga katika maisha yako. Mm-hmm. Another thing is you, you have something called self-awareness. Mm-hmm. Know yourself. Know what you want in mm-hmm. life. Mm-hmm. Yani, tutasimanga ujijue na ujielewe mm-hmm. so that you'll be able to do things the way you want them to be done. Si mtu anakwambia hivi unaingia chini ya meza. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When you know yourself, you are able to do things in an excellent way. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. So guys, uh, you have heard it from the experts themselves. Sasa tunaweza tunaweita experts, ndio? Yeah, yeah. 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 experts. 
of course, why not? <laughs> so I'm going to add uh, to party, um, time to give the viewers maybe your parting shots and uh, what you think is the takeaway for the topic of the day before we wrap up. So uh, my parting shot mm-hmm. is, first, you can take social media breaks. Mm-hmm. In addition to what Jane said, mm-hmm. if you feel like the pressure is too much, please take social media breaks mm-hmm. and ensure you're good mentally. Like if you need to see someone, mm-hmm. go see someone. Basically to wrap up on everything, it mm-hmm. goes back to self. The internal locus of evaluation. Mm-hmm. Know yourself, when you're Jane Amesema, mm-hmm. ensure that... If you look at yourself in the mirror, even if there are weaknesses, because all of us, of course, have weaknesses, mm-hmm. ensure you highlight the strengths of other weaknesses. When you're writing, oh, I don't like this, I don't like this, ensure the list of the things you like about yourself mm-hmm. is longer, baby girl. Mm-hmm. And bank mm-hmm. on the things you like about yourself. Mm-hmm. When e you don't look at this, I have beautiful eyes. Mm-hmm. Even if I don't have a beautiful whatever, mm-hmm. I have beautiful this. So you keep comparing that. That silences the voice mm-hmm. that uplifts the negative. Because most of the time, the negative is usually higher than the positive. Okay. So ensure you actively and consciously looking at the positive as opposed to the negative. Usiwache watu wa kulete chini, by the way. Mm-hmm. You are exactly. the only person mm-hmm. who is capable of uplifting yourself up. Mm-hmm. So please do that. Okay. Oh, mm-hmm. That is great. Mm-hmm. Well, for me, I would like to tell people they should practice self-love. Mm-hmm. Self-love. Nobody okay. will love you mm-hmm. the way you can love yourself. Mm-hmm. If we can practice self-love the way you are with your shortcomings, appreciate yourself the way you look like, and even your body image, you may mm-hmm. raise your self-esteem very high, and people may be wondering, hi, hey, what happened to this girl? Mm-hmm. Come to the secret is jipende wewe mwenye. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ujipende mm-hmm. and you'll be able to move on with life. Mm-hmm. And in case you may feel that probably because of your past, the way you have been, mm-hmm. in one way or another, you may require some kind of assistance. Mm-hmm. That is why counselors are all over. Talk to someone, waiting yeah? to talk to you mm. because when you come back to the counselors, they will be able to uplift you once again. Okay. And that is so simple just love and love yourself. Love yourself, yes. Okay, so, uh, guys, we thought of doing this uh episode, this topic, because as you can see, there's so much information here. There's so much information that only shows how much uh important we needed, how much important that uh discussion was, and how much we needed to talk about it. So yeah, so please guys, let's um let's be let's be good to ourselves to depend even in this year. You know, self love comes first and be your own kind of beautiful. Don't tell don't let anyone come and tell you, Oh, you need to look like this, you need to look like this, you need to look this specific way. Be your own kind of beautiful and be beautiful in whichever and whatever way, right? So that was the end uh, of uh, our show. Please guys stop at up you come turn down uh where can we get you on social media? So my Instagram and Facebook is Lovey Winfred. Lovey Winfred. Yes. Okay. Uh huh. Jane. Um, my probably Facebook where you can get me Jane. Jane, are you sure? Are you sure? She's going to take it again. The only place you can get me is in Facebook, uh-huh. where we usually post whatever we do in our offices. Mm-hmm. So you can just check Jane Elvis. Jane Monty. Elvis. Yeah, okay. you'll get me there. And in case you may need to see us physically, mm-hmm. we are located in Kika Town, Kika, uh-huh. a place called Retaibe Business Center. Okay. If you come there, you will, you will find us. We okay. work as a team, mm-hmm. and we are there for everyone. you guys, yeah. everyone. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, it was amazing. I mean, you may learn the two mingi by the way. So you come away when you come you may learn something, but make sure you you have right. So. Again, be your own kind of beautiful till next time. Same place, same time. I was your host, Rachel Gambo. And uh, this was the Youth Hub, the show that gets your groove on. Let's continue with the conversation on our SMS number, four or at DVS TV Africa across all social media platforms. Till next time, ciao.